Wouldn't it be cool if you could cook corn in a cooler? Not trying to be corny, but if you want to see how to cook corn in a cooler, it's coming up right now. Take your corn on the cob and fill up the cooler. To get twice the amount of corn on the cobs, break them in half. Be very careful handling the boiling water. Cover the corn on the cob. Add one stick of butter for every eight corn on the cob. If you want it to be more buttery, add more. Salt to taste. I like to use kosher salt. Close the lid and let it sit for about 45 minutes. I know what some of you are thinking out there. You're getting BPA in your corn. However, I did a little bit of research and I found this over at the huntingwaterfalls.com website. Coolers are generally made from either polypropylene in the cheapest coolers and polyethylene in the more expensive coolers. Neither of these plastics contain BPA, so it can be assumed that pretty much all coolers are unlikely to contain BPA, making them BPA free. The website goes into much deeper detail to explain how it's safe to cook corn in a cooler. I'll put a link to it down below. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. Tender, juicy corn with little effort. Pleasantly surprised by the amount of butter and salt that I pick up. If cooking corn in a cooler isn't your thing, I've got you covered with the easiest and best way to grill corn on the cob. Check out that link down below. Are you a typewriter or a Rolodex when you eat corn? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm a Rolodex. I don't even know if Rolodex is the right term for eating corn top to bottom. If this looks good, if it's something you wanna try, give me a thumbs up. Jason Goodall, GQ Barbecue, and I'll see you on the next one. Definitely got to eat it from top to bottom. What kind of psychopath goes left to right? You need too much coordination for that.